So hi everyone, we are standing here at the Well Done Invitational 2008 in uh, Paris, France and uh, next to me is standing a uh, Krabi and Wine player uh, and uh, you just won against Sky on the stage behind us uh, but before the match, actually the, the bets you know, were like 70 to 30% uh, that favoured Sky so uh, did you go with any self-confidence in the match? Uh, those bets uh, are fair, uh, too high for me if anything because I almost always lose to Sky uh, usually I go, I go into the match thinking I will lose, but um, I did a lot of practice against Human, uh, so I thought I had a chance. Uh, I didn't want to be too confident because sometimes I think I have a chance and I still lose, but uh, yeah, I, I, I believed I could do it, and uh, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I was I was really happy that uh, that it came true. Okay, but uh, overall, the, both matches were really great performance by you. I just talked to some other people and they're. I oh, were a little bit impressed about your performance, how you showed up here, so you really practiced a lot before uh, for the tournament here? Uh, I don't think there was a, a minute whereby I didn't think about practicing and preparing and uh, uh, just take short breaks for, for food and for the rest it was just 24-7 uh, playing, uh, especially since WC3L I've just been playing, playing, playing uh, because I, I really wanted to do well against, uh, against human. And that was before I knew I would meet Sky, and then when I saw I, I got a grid of uh, Sky and Todd, I thought, yeah, it's, it's really hard, but I want to see what I can do. I want to show what I can uh, do if I practice so much. So, uh, what about the atmosphere with the other players, uh, other MYM players and stuff like that? Uh, I saw you were talking to some StarCraft players of MYM, and uh, you were uh, sitting together with Moon and stuff like that, so I had a feeling the atmosphere is pretty good in the team right now. Uh, does it also affect your game in some way? Well, uh, I, I think it does. Uh, it's not that I'm, I'm playing necessarily for, for them, but uh, the whole feeling that you get along well with your team and there's a good vibe, uh, yeah, it, it makes me feel uh, happy. And a happy player is a good player. Uh, we went to dinner yesterday uh, with the Moon, and uh, it's really nice to talk to him. and. Uh, uh, yeah, hang out with him and well, Draven F F91. I didn't talk much to them, but I'm sure they're, they're great guys too. Oh yeah. So, uh, what, what do you think about your overall chances in the tournament? I mean, you, now you played one of the favorites, guy. I mean, in the next round you probably face uh, X Lord or Todd. Todd, Todd already won uh, two one, I think. Okay, so Todd, uh, what about him? What do you think about him? Uh, can you can you also show up such a great performance like you did against Sky? Well. Uh, Todd plays very different. Uh, he is uh, slightly more versatile, and uh, he, pl he, pl also, he also just plays different from Sky. Uh, I heard he uh, stopped Dota recently uh, for a while, so uh, he's really not to be underestimated. And, uh, it won't necessarily be the same games against uh, as against Sky. Uh, yeah, but I prepared against all kinds of strategies, so I hope that my mind will be clear enough to uh, put my practice into play. Okay, so let's uh, say you've got good chances to place top three in the tournament. Which which other two players do you see on the on the on the on the final stage next to you? Oh, I didn't say that. <laughs> but I think. Uh, yeah, I said it. <laughs> Moon beat Lin 2-0. I heard. Uh, yeah, I expected him to win, but not 2-0. It shows he's uh, in really good shape. Also, then yeah, Lin, Totsky all got uh, really good chances. I think. Okay, uh, and let's uh, go a little bit away from Warcraft 3 for one second. I saw you were watching the Diablo 2 presentation. So what are Diablo your... Diablo 3. Oh, yeah. I always say Diablo 2. <laughs> Sorry. Diablo 3 presentation, of course. Diablo 3 presentation. What are your first impressions about that? Well, I think it looks awesome. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a real Blizzard Games fan. Uh, haven't, yeah, I, I played Diablo 1. I completed the single player 10 times, I think. Uh, I played Diablo 2. Uh, extensively online and also uh, single player but uh, not not as much as Warcraft 3 but yeah I would love to try out Diablo 3 the, the campaign for some uh, leisurely hours but uh, if it's too fun then I won't play it too much because it's too dangerous uh, too addictive uh, for me because I have something else to do which is to play uh, Warcraft but uh, I'll definitely try it it looks really really cool okay and the other Blizzard game Starcraft 2 did you have a chance to try it yet do you want to try it Starcraft 2, yeah, we uh, we were playing it uh, a bit, uh, pro gamers and uh, designers. Um, so your impressions? Impressions, 
it's a it's a really good looking game and they keep changing all sorts of elements i really think they're uh, considering how to make it the most attractive for starcraft one and warcraft three players together and also new players um uh, lots of new functions as always it's not just a, a little overhaul to make it a a, a new coat uh, but really a, it's uh, fundamentally, I think, so much better than StarCraft 1. Okay, you said it will be interesting for StarCraft 1 players and interesting for WarCraft 3 players. So, with StarCraft 2, merge both communities and uh, be sooner or later the only esports title in, RT in the RDS genre? Mm, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, most, most Blizzard titles, uh, they took a while to get uh, to be a real esports title. Uh, uh, WoW is entering the esports scene now, it uh, took them four years or three, uh, two, three years at least. Uh, Warcraft 3 became bigger after two years. Uh, Starcraft 1, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the same. I, I wasn't really a pro gamer then yet, but maybe it'll take a while. It could go faster because the esports scene is more mature, but I don't think all the other games will die off.